At the very end of Walking Street is Bally High Pier. We have walked a short distance onto the pier to take a look at some of the ferry boats that go out to Kolarn Island. Now, none of these boats are currently working because of the COVID-19 crisis. Apparently, Kolarn Island is having its own little quarantine and not letting anybody go out onto their island. Now, basically, there are very few tourists in town anyway. Most of them have hightailed out of here, but there are a few folks that manage to get stuck in Patia. Not a bad place to be stuck, but you don't want to be stuck when everything is closed. Now, let's watch this boat. He's apparently going to moor up over there on the pier. Looks like the boat who knows what they're doing? There's nobody on it. Everything in Tatia right now has come to a standstill. Basically, everything is stagnated. You're not getting in and you're not getting out. They got the road blocked off up on Shukumvit. Now, the magic number for reopening seems to be May 1st. Now, that seems to be like a universal number for opening or reopening May 1st. How the hell did they all come up with that same number and why did they pick May 1st? Well, all we can do is sit back and see what's going to happen when they reopened the town of Patia on May 1st. But the airplanes aren't flying. They claim they won't be flying to May 31st. So how are people going to get in and out of the country? How are tourists going to come in? Who knows? Maybe they'll walk across the back hills from Cambodia and hike across the trails and come in that way. Oh, by the way, all the beaches in Patia are closed. So if you go to the beach, you can get busted. And from what I've heard, the Patia police have already arrested 73 people for violating the curfew and the uh, whatever kind of laws you want to call them with this COVID-19 nonsense. That's Patia's version of the ghost building. You can see that from Valley High Pier. A real good view of it, too. More to come, so please hit that like and subscribe button.